Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and some more WWE 2K20 coverage, as today we have our very first look at none other than the ninth wonder of the world, China. So this is China's official entrance in WWE 2K20, which has been a long time coming, as this marks the first time that we've seen China featured in a WWE game since WWF Smackdown 2, a whopping 19 years ago. So I for one have to say it's good to see China back in the series after such a long absence and with this year's game being so heavily focused on the women's evolution then this is perfect timing as she was without doubt one of the biggest pioneers in women's wrestling especially when it came to showing that women didn't have to be just eye candy and that they could do everything that the men could even to the point that in a way she kind of outgrew the women's division and even held her own in the ring with the men. Now on that note, we don't yet know if China will be only available to wrestle women in the game or if there'll be some sort of indigenda matchup that allows it to face off against the men, although I highly doubt that WWE would allow that despite the fact that a lot of China's most memorable matches took place against male stars such as Jeff Jarrett, Chris Jericho or even Triple H. On the other hand though, we do know that mixed tag team matches are returning this year which is perfect to set up matches that see China team up with Eddie Guerrero as based on the painting featured in the reveal trailer then the version of Eddie that we're getting is from the same time that he was paired with China, with China's model and tire also dated from that same period. On the subject of her model, I think it looks good. Obviously, it's not going to be at the level of the scan stars, but I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it. I'm happy with it, but let me know what you think in the comments. Aside from China herself, one other good change that I also noticed comes with the Titan Tron as he had 2K stretched out China's entrance video to fit the Tron rather than displaying it in its original 4x3 ratio which is what they've done in past games and even did in the recent Stone Cold entrance. So hopefully this change is one that also happens with the other legends as I think it looks so much better seeing the Tron stretched out rather than playing it in a little box in the middle. On a final note, for anyone wanting to play as China in WWE 2K20, then as we've covered previously on the channel, China isn't included in the regular version of the game, as she's part of the SmackDown Legends DLC, which is included with both the Collectors and Deluxe Editions, therefore to play as China, you'll have to pick up one of those. So there you go guys, that is our first look at China in WWE 2K20, let me know what you think of her model and her entrance in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to stay up to date with all the latest WWE 2K20 news. Until next time though, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.